If you are dealing with hair breakage, this video is for you. If you are dealing with unhealthy hair, this video is for you. If you are dealing with split ends, this video is for you. If you are dealing with your hair seem like it's growing, but you know you got the same length, this video is for you. Stay tuned. Nah, I'm just playing. Dead yeah, serious though, stay tuned. I tried making an intro without doing the edits. You feel what I'm saying? Welcome to Her Games World. If you have not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I love y'all. Thank y'all for y'all support. Today's video will be on elasticity and length retention. Okay? Now, length retention, as I explained in other videos, is locking moisture and the nourishment that you need into your hair strands to keep your length. Elasticity is the porosity in your hair strands. When your hair is snapping, it's dry. When your hair is breaking, it is dry. Your hair has no elasticity. Dry hair equals no elasticity. Dry hair equals no lip retention. Now, as I explained to y'all before, I am all about helping people's hair grow, especially my people. A lot of us have a problem with dry hair. Now, as I said in another video, back in the day, our grannies always told us to oil our scalp, but never told us to oil our hair. So the result is our hair grows, but our hair strands are not manageable. They're not moisturized. They're dry. They're breaking. So when it comes to elasticity and length retention, it is all about locking moisture into your hair. Moisture and elasticity, okay? Like I said about that shavy product that the tribes use, the reason that they don't rub it in their scalp, the reason that they're just putting it on their hair strands, plaiting their hair up and leaving it for days is because they are locking moisture in their hair. That's why their hair is to their butt, to their knees. Heck, I've seen some of those women's hair to their feet. Now, I forgot the name of the tribe that uses the shavy powder. But when I tell you it's the truth, it is the truth, okay? I did a shabby hair mask and left it on my hair for about seven hours. And when I tell you my hair was the softest it has ever been, even with a, using a regular conditioner, okay? So locking in moisture is key. If you are having problems with breakage, with split ends, with way too much shedding, it is because your hair is dry. Okay, when your hair is moisturized, your strands are strong, your strands are porous, the porosity is 1,000, okay, your elasticity is 1,000. It's no reason that every single day you comb and brush your hair, you should have a ball this big because your hair is dry and it is breaking. There's no reason that your hair should be see-through with split ends. Your hair is dry and it is breaking. Split ends is also a form of breakage. You have to moisturize your hair to the ends. I keep explaining length retention, okay? I learned a lot of these terms in school and I didn't know where they would come into play, but this is where they are coming into play, okay? <laughs> You have to be paying attention to the products that you use and how much alcohol is in it. Like, you have to pay attention to everything, especially when you have African-American hair. What is in this? Is it going to dry out my hair? What, what is the benefits of this? Is it going to clog my pores? Is it going to be too heavy? It's a whole, whole lot to think about when it comes to your hair. And that's why I have introduced my uh, organic hair care line. Okay, I'm all about locking in moisture. So length retention is moisturizing your hair. <laughs> I keep explaining this to people and I feel like people's not understanding. I think it's because 
when it comes to African American women, a lot of us, you know, we just wear protective styles. And when it comes to wearing these protective styles, yeah, our hair grows when we're not washing it 50 times a month, and our hair grows when we leave it alone. But guess what? Our hair also breaks and splits and dries out when we leave it alone as well. So as much as we like to love these protective styles, you need to love your hair underneath. Then it comes to using the proper shampoos, using the proper conditioner, make sure the proper moisturizers are in the conditioner, make sure it's for your hair type, making sure you're oiling your scalp before your protective style, making sure that you are oiling your hair strands before your protective style. Okay, when I tell you, you will see growth and length. Shouldn't have to just run and get your skin split just because you had your braids in for a couple months. Go ahead, yeah, yeah, go get your ends cut because your ends didn't grow up your hair. Your ends didn't grow up your hair, but your hair didn't grow. It's just a big mess. Who wants their hair to keep growing and not seeing any progress of length? But I see it all the time. Again, I am going to say, if you are dealing with breakage, Splitting it, lack of length retention, lack of elasticity, you need to moisturize your hair. And it's not with just any product in the store. Like I said, you have to pay attention to what's in these products. You have to pay attention to the emollients, the humectants, and you have to pay attention and make sure every single thing that you need is in this product. A lot of stuff is not made for African American hair. So, that would make sense to why a lot of y'all walk around with your hair dry. A lot of people don't know to do the proper research. I actually met a girl the other day in the store that told me she felt like her hair didn't grow. I complimented her hair because her fro was very nice. But she told me her hair won't grow. And I'm like, baby, your hair will grow. When I tell you I've been preaching to my people, baby, your hair will grow. Leave those relaxes alone. Oil your hair up under them protective styles. Actually take care of your hair. It seems like most people take care of their hair, but they're not taking care of their hair. They're taking care of the style. They're not taking care of the health of the hair. There's no reason why you should wear weave after weave after weave after protective style after protective style after protective style and not have the length that you want. So you're leaving your hair alone. You're not washing your hair all the time, but why Why my hair seem like it's at a standstill? It's not at a standstill. Your hair strands are breaking. Period. Period. I don't know how else to explain this, and I feel like a lot of people don't explain this, and that's why people's like, damn. But I'm telling the truth. <laughs> and when you moisturize your hair properly, it is a lot more manageable. I have 4C hair, and when it comes to 4C hair, my coils are tight, my shrinkage is real, my hair sucks up moisture like a sponge, okay? But when my hair is properly moisturized, which I always keep my hair properly moisturized, I can easily work through my hair. I don't have a whole bunch of tangles or a whole bunch of little balls in my I, I don't have that because my heart is healthy, because I am locking in the proper moisture and the proper nutrients. Because I know that as, as a natural haired woman, my heart stays super dry, okay? It's crazy because I heard women tell me, well, my heart just stays so dry, I just don't understand. Lack of moisture, if it's dry, you get it wet. Not with water though. Look, my 4C ladies, I have had ladies talk to me and tell me how, you know, <laughs> they just put water in their hair. Honey, we ain't all got the same hair type, okay? If I just put water in my hair and brush it through, my fro gonna say, <laughs> literally, as soon as it dries out, it's done. It's going to be dry. It's going to be horrible. Now, if you want to use a spray bottle and wet your fro and a hair butter or and a hair oil or and a hair cream, then that's perfectly fine. So as your hair dries, everything is locking into your hair. 
but just to use why yeah not for everybody not for me i will not be doing that i used to see the girls in school pull out their water and grease and do their baby hairs and sometimes they used to offer me to you know fix my baby hairs and i would just be thinking about what my baby hairs is gonna do they gonna curl up into a nap if i use water and grease it's gonna be a greasy nap too <laughs> little shiny pretty nap but it's gonna be a nap and i want no nap i want no naps now like i said lock moisture into your hair length retention so i am coming out with a product very very soon that i have been working on it is specifically for locking in moisture specifically okay i'm actually gonna have a line of things that are specifically for moisture because i really feel like that is one of the biggest issues with african-american hair it is locking in the moisture the proper vitamins the proper nourishment like the proper everything we need the emollients and stuff you feel what i'm saying if you don't know what emollient is google it we need moisture locked in our hair. So I'm coming out, I will have bundles and sets and I will be offering the products separately, but they are literally specifically for locking in moisture. I will have a butter, I will have a spray for the strands, I will have something for the scalp, I will have a mask, I will have all of that, which will actually be dropping in the next two weeks because I am done perfecting my formula. I've used it all on myself, and baby, when I tell you, my fro is so manageable. I was able to just part my hair, put my hair butt on my hair strands, cornrow my hair, put my hair on, like my cornrows are nice and neat, like I got a relaxer, honey. Okay, I told you that I, uh, in, a, in another video, that I had did another client's hair with the hair butter. And when I tell you her hair is 4C, homegirl got some hair on her head and it's a whole lot of it. And it just made it so much more manageable and moisturized and damn near sipped it out, okay? Use the proper products for your hair. Your hair will stop breaking. It will stop splitting. Your hair is growing, but I will say, I don't want to just tell everybody that their hair is growing, okay? Now, I'm talking about the hair strands and, you know, the scalp and all of that when it comes to my products. Now, I cannot put the proper things into your body. Your stylist cannot put the proper things into your body. And when it comes to hair growth, you have to have the proper things in your body. You have to be taking your vitamins. You have to be drinking your water. You have to be eating your vegetables, eating your fruit, eating right, okay? Now, I know as adults, we do a lot of fast food. We frying chicken. Ain't none of that stuff really benefiting our hair our skin. But hey, buy you some spinach. Buy you some ginger root. Just eat a little piece. Eat you some, some spinach leaves. It's been times where I've just taken some spinach leaves out the bag and I just eat five or six. Just for the hell of it. Just just to make sure that I'm putting certain stuff in my body. I buy these now. This one broke. I mean, it broke. It only cost me like $10. I was so happy. I'm going to go get another $10 one. Make sure I don't drop and break this one. But I get these. And when I tell you it is so easier to drink all this water in a day. When it's in something like this versus trying to drink all this water in a day in a cup that I'ma keep refilling. Honey, I be chugging this water like it is Kool-Aid, okay? Just because it's in that container, especially when it's hot outside, I am chugging that, okay? You have to put the proper nutrients and vitamins into your body, just like you do your hair. You can't just focus on your hair or just focus on your skin and not, not focus on what you're putting inside of it. I remember I watched America's Next Top Model years ago and it was a girl on there that was having skin issues it was time for the makeover thing and they noticed she had a lot of acne okay girl was beautiful she didn't have no hyperpigmentation and stuff like that but she had bumps she had acne she was getting breakouts and tara banks noticed that she smoked cigarettes and she told her that is one of the worst things you can do as a model that is one of the worst things you can do as a model is smoke cigarettes because cigarettes affect your skin, your teeth, your hair. It's a lot of toxins in it. 
whatever we put into our body is going to come out okay you're gonna see it from the outside when i'm sitting there slipping on drinking my water and i've been in went a whole week i'm just having fun and living life and not eating right and not drinking my water i look up and my face is a little broke out not super broke out but my face might be a little broke out my skin might be dull my hair is extra dry that's because if my body's lacking moisture then everything else about me is lacking moisture as well and honey i've been glowing and the reason i've been glowing is because i've been drinking water <laughs> i be drinking water i don't care if, if i'm not drinking that i go get a real one of them real real big smart waters or whatever water bottle that's filtered spring water whatever at the gas station and i drink a whole one of those and fill it up again by night time you have to put the proper things into your body if you don't like vegetables and i remember say say you don't like vegetables but you love fruit get you a blender if you already have a blender great blend you up some fruit add some spinach in there add the little pieces of raw broccoli in there make sure it's enough fruit add you a tiny bit of sugar not a lot because you don't want to overpower the vitamins you we're going healthy here but i know we need it to taste good add you some little little stuff to it get you some vitamin droppers and add that to it and drink that one today basically make you a smoothie make the fruit so powerful that you don't even taste the vegetables if you have to but when i tell you i am on this hard journey with y'all and i'm here to educate if you have not already subscribed make sure that you subscribe i am trying to educate y'all on things that i have learned over the years and some of them are personal personal experiences when I was partying and not eating right and stuff like that, girl, my skin stayed jacked up. My hair stayed dry and brittle and breaking. I wasn't putting the right stuff in my body. Moisturize your hair. Pack the proper nutrients into your hair. Moisturize your body. Pack the proper nutrients and vitamins into your body. And when I tell you, you will, you will see good results with your hair, your skin, or your nails. I don't just study things for hair. I study things for skin. As I said in my other video, I am making little scrubs for skin for hyperpigmentation. I suffer for, from hyperpigmentation for so long, but I take time to make sure that I am trying as much as possible to put the right things into my body. So a lot of that has changed. But I also study the things that need to go into the body as well to help. What 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 vegetables? I'll be on Google. What what vegetables help with skin? What vegetables help with digestion? That's another thing. If your digestion tract is off, that's gonna affect your skin and your hair and different stuff because it's toxins. Okay. You have to take care of yourself in order to be healthy and look healthy and feel healthy. Have healthy hair, healthy skin, healthy nails. You have to take care of yourself fully. So it's not just about her. And I don't want to just make it about her just to sell my product. I'm not going to be out here selling no vitamins. So I'm going to tell you to get my product and get your vitamins, okay? Get my product, get your vitamins, put them two together, and let it do what it does. And drink water. You feel me? But that's what I wanted to talk about today. Like I said, I am going to be releasing my super moisturizing hairline. Like I said, I have 4C hair. My kids have 4C hair. I use this stuff on myself. I use this stuff on my clients. I make sure this stuff works how it needs to work before I even put it out there. So, honey, you, you ain't even going to have to worry about the moisture. You, you already know. It's, it was in your hair when you thought about it. Your thoughts was moisturizing your hair. That's how good my product is, okay? Period. If you have not already gave me a thumbs up, please make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Help support your girl's channel. Get my videos flowing. Make sure you subscribe to my page. I have been so busy this week making hair products and different things like that. I have, like... 
people have been requesting some stuff for they her and people let me know that her needs and when I tell you God had a plan for me God had a plan for me and I did not know what it was and when I tell you it is people trying to bring me down trying to distract me they, they are doing the most and when I tell you I am staying away from it and away from those people because I have things to do I'm serious. I have things to do. Okay? That's a whole nother ball game with your skin and your hair. Don't let nobody stress you. Stress causes health problems, hair loss, weight loss. Everything that comes with stress is a loss. Okay? So if you're stressing, you're losing because you're distracted. Okay? If I'm stressing and I'm pressed out and I ain't drink my water and stuff, my hair and my body stressed out too. So stuff ain't going how it needs to go and I need to go how it needs to go how it needs to be going so it can be going. <laughs> Don't you like how I be just phrasing my stuff just throwing my little words out there? But yes, I need it to go. So stress is a whole nother thing. Like there's a lot that factors into keeping your hair, your skin, and your nails together. Period. Your insides together. Like I said, what you put inside comes out. So buy my hair product, your vitamins, and your water bottle. Love y'all. Make sure you subscribe.